Hi, today we're out on the ranch and farm of Jason and Roxy Davis here in Drummond, Montana, and they are going to be taking part in a really cool soil sample and agricultural program that's going to take place right here in Drummond. And so today I have with me Teresa Yoakum. And Teresa, why don't you tell us a little bit about this seminar that's going to happen on October 18th? Chris Pierce and I from Gold Creek are really excited. We've got a, a farmer of his entire life coming out from Missouri to tell area farmers here about a, a program which is soil testing through AgroVantage. And so we're going to take a soil test here today for Jason and Roxy and send those results into Midland and Lambs. We'll get them back in a, in a short time and they'll help us find out exactly what Roxy and Jason need to do that for their soil here so they can get better yields out of their, their grass. And so okay. that particular soil sample, it's nothing real huge scientific to gather it. It's just, what, drilling in the ground, right? Drill into the ground, bring the soil out, dry, make sure it's dry, put it in a container and chip it off. And you need about how much? About a cup and a half by the time you're done. So, and that's just taking a regular standard drill, going down on your farm, various places, getting the soil and putting it all together. Correct. Typically, you're going to grab soil from from a, a number of different places on the plot that you're testing, and uh, mix that all together, and, and so that it gives a wide range uh, based on the uh, ground that you're testing, and get it gathered up and sent off. So, there are a lot of places locally that do soil testing. You know, various companies that are selling ranchers fertilizer. What's different about the, the report they're going to get or have access to through this seminar? This seminar is going to actually, we'll actually have it in front of us so we can read that to the uh, ranchers and farmers who attend. And so it, it's going to show them, for instance, uh, how much um, nitrogen is in your soil. And typically, um, you can get that soil sample through, as you said, various companies. But um, you don't always get the best reading on, on exactly how much nitrogen you need. So what this soil sample is going to do is going to tell you exactly how much you need. So sometimes you uh, have a company that might not particularly look at that. These are very um, scientific and, and well-developed. Uh, uh, a lot more detail. A lot more detail. Is, is, uh, they've been doing test plots uh, for at least 20 years, probably longer, um, and have really developed these. So, so they're, they're uh, And so the value in that, especially like in today's economy, is not overspending. So if your soil will only hold 175 parts of nitrogen, you don't want to be throwing some uh, fertilizer on it that has 300 parts of nitrogen. Exactly, because it's just going to go right through the ground. You don't get the benefit of the money that you spent. You want to know exactly how much you need, and that's what this soil sample is going to show you. It's going to show you, and we're going to give you then a prescription, so to speak, of what your soil needs um, based on the sample that is out of your property, and uh, you'll get better yields, better genetics. Um, it's just going to increase so much. What now, now, when you talk yields, you're talking about, I know that I guess a lot of farmers in this part of the country uh, fertilize once and then just let the crop grow and it gets progressively smaller as it goes throughout the year. Maybe they get three turns out of it, maybe they get four. So this analysis is going to allow them to be able to not only get a bigger crop, but uh, maybe even an extra turn out of it. Correct. And so that's got to be a huge economic advantage if you can increase your crop by 20, 25 percent a year. That's got to be a huge advantage. We'll have at the seminar, we'll have examples for people of, of um, farmers who have done exactly that. They've got the test plots and they'll be able to show you, we'll, we'll have a slideshow that will show you um, and testimonies from people um, just how they did that, what their prescription was, what they had been doing in the in the previous years, and how the AgroVantage had actually helped them increase all of those uh, spots that we had talked about. Right, and I think that's a great analogy to a prescription. You know, uh, when you have kind of a generic cold, you go get something that you can just kind of deal with the symptoms. But when you really do get sick, you have to see specialists with a doctor so that they can treat your specific malady. And this is the same thing with the land out here, uh, the ranch. It's like a medicine. You yeah. know? It's going to give the soil exactly what it needs to produce for you exactly what you want. So, seminar is October 18th. Uh, what time is it again? 
6 p.m. 6 p.m. We'll provide a meal during that time. It's going to last about an hour. There will be time afterwards for you to visit with Mr. Benson. He's a very um, well-rounded fella. He's been doing this himself. He understands your problems and your issues. And so he also will be there to help you um, get questions answered. So going along with that, QSPN is also working with Montana State University. And the night before on the 17th, we're also going to have a special night at the library, at the Drummond Library, where we're going to be bringing in Bruce Maxwell. He's from Montana State University and part of the Montana Climate Assessment. And what they've done is they have produced a study that shows how climate change is starting to affect Montana ranching and farming and what can be done to help ranchers and farmers prepare for that. So we've got two great events, October 17th, 7 p.m., the Drummond Library, October 18th at 6 p.m. at the Community Hall. Uh, free meal on the second one. Can't beat that. And there's always some great lemon bars at the library. So uh, we invite you to come out for that. Teresa, thank you very much for coming out. Thank you, Tim. We appreciate it. And uh, we look forward to seeing you all on October 17th and 18th. For QSBNlive.com, this is Tim Allen reporting.